Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MDM. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn some of the interesting facts about Informatica MDM tables. Informatica MDM consists of various metadata tables and various business tables. One of the business table, I would say, it's a base object table. We also, it is also known as a BO table. Each BO table has its a corresponding cross-reference table. And the name of cross-reference table is ends with xref. So we have two types of table, BO table and xref table. Both the tables are associated with each other. Xref table maintains the cross-reference. The cross-reference means, for example, if we have multiple sources, consider source 1 as CRM source, consider source 2 as sales source, and consider third source as a HCM. So we have three sources, CRM, sales, and HCM. If the same single customer is contributed by all three sources, in order to trace that, those record, which record is coming from which source, we have to maintain the cross-reference. And hence, the XREP table comes into the picture. What is the base object table? Once we consolidate this similar kind of record into one record, base object will maintain only one copy. And that copy is called as a golden record. Or it is the most trustworthy or master record in MDM system. Now, we have the one record in the MDM, which is maintained in the base object. We will have the multiple record in the XREF. Then, why we discussing the create date? So, let's see here the example. Now, assume we have the multiple uh, Gusen and we'll use this ROID object to pull the ROID, uh, to pull the records from the XREF. And we'll see what are the things available there so when I pull this record it will give me the associated contributed record from all sources doesn't matter this might be coming from one Williams Gusen second says Will Gusen and third says Bill Gusen doesn't matter what kind of record it is we don't have to worry the important thing is about the create date so if you see there are some create dates are available and in the base object also there are create dates available. What is the use of this create date? As we know whenever the records get created in MDM system it maintains the when that record got created. Last updated is one of the important column which gets updated whenever the record get updated. So what does it mean? Once the record is created the, rec the create date never changes for B1 XREP. We are going to identify that in today's tutorial. What is difference of create date in base object and in XREP table? In order to in order to explain you all those concepts, I have prepared one PPT. Let's go over that. Date in create date in base object and XREP tables. Here are the some details. Assume a day one it's a before merge case so we ran the stage job we ran the load job and after that we ran the match and merge so those are the cases we have so assume that we are done with stage job and load job and this is just before the merge so we'll have the two record 001 and 002 Robert Goosen and Bob Goosen created it is suppose 1 January 2014 for first record and second record it is to second January 2014 the last update date is the same as a created because it is just before the merge that's the reason the dates are the same assume that is the case in the XREP we will have the exact same copy 200 uh, the raw object 001 and 002 corresponding to base object records with the same created date and the last update date what will happen after merge? So raw ID object of 001 merges into raw ID object 002. So raw ID object 002 will be the surviving and the corresponding create date will be populated in the base object. So if you see in this first uh, in this previous screen where the before merge scenario, the 
create date of record 002 is 2 January and after merge those records will get merged and the create date will be 2 January 2014 however in the base in the xref it will have its individual values here are some details about these dates in the xref table the create date of the record one will remain the same as the time before the unmerge while the last update date change according to time of unmerge so that's true this is in the xref so suppose we did the merge and there is a scenario where record need to be unmerged that can happen what will happen with the create date so create date will remain the same as previous but the last update will be get updated in the base object the create date gets changed according to the time of unmerge so whenever the do the rec whenever we do the unmerge of record the create date get updated in the base object and not in the xref this is very important to know that way we will able to trace down what change what event has occurred on particular record so create date never changes it will remain the same as its a uh, original creation time but the create date in the base object will change if you unmerge the record. This is because in xref the second record already existed and the create date will remain the same. Now you got the idea why we discussing this topic. Create date is important as like last update date even, even though the create date is not considered for the internal processing of the MDM, last update date is considered for the internal processing of the MDM. Still, in order to trace down the events which occurs in the MDM, create date plays a vital role. And this here is this is the one of the scenario where the whenever you do the unmerge on any record, the create get create date get changed. I hope this small tutorial is going to help you to identify the differences between the create date of base object and create date of XREP. There are two events or the two times the create date might change when you merge the record. Where is the surviving record? Its create date will be uh, attached to the golden copy of that record. And the second event is nothing but unmerge. During the unmerge, the create date of base object record will get changed, but not in the xref. I hope you are enjoying the tutorials about Informatic MDM. If you have any questions or queries about Informatic MDM, IDD, ActiveOS, or provisioning tool, you can definitely mention in the comment section of this video. If you have any particular topic you want to learn more, just you can mention in the comment section also. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice time.